Hi everybody. So I woke up this rising with a channel message. Like I woke right up out of my sleep and there was this song that was playing in my in my mind. It was a piece of a, a piece of certain lyric that stuck out to me. Um the song Summer Walker No Love. And the part that was playing was the part when Caesar said, um, I done seen all I needed to see. So it's like some of y'all have seen something um, and it was like, oh yeah, I done, that's it. I done seen what I needed to see. It's, it's a, it's a wrap. It is what it is. So, the song No Love, Summer Walker is the energy of this read. So, if you haven't heard the song before, you can look it up on YouTube, Summer Walker, No Love. All right, so, let's go ahead and get a channel message. This was definitely for somebody because I literally woke up out of my sleep and that part was playing in my head. Um, I haven't listened to that song in a while. And a few, like maybe four or five days ago, I listened to it. I was in the kitchen cooking and I was on Alexa and I was like, you know, Alexa, play songs by Summer Walker. And that was the last time I played it. It was pretty recent, but that has never happened to me. Like, I never just straight woke up out of my sleep, and that was the message. So, I definitely was like, let me, let me, this, this is definitely a message somebody needs to hear. So, let's go ahead and find out what's going on. We're going to get into it. Y'all make sure that y'all hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Show me this person's energy. Show me, show me what's going on. Show me what's going on. So somebody, somebody is thinking about you. Somebody is thinking about you. Somebody is thinking about you at night when they get up. But it's something about them trying to heal. They're wondering if you're happy without them. And they try to make it seem like like they got everything all together but they really don't their life is not together as it seems they did something real fucked up to you they did something real fucked up to you and they tried to blame it on you and said it was your fault they're thinking about that they are thinking about that day that you guys split, disagreed, and they will, are wishing that things could be different. They're wishing things could be different. They want to feel. They want to feel what they felt for you again, but they know that they crossed some type of boundary with you. They did something. They did something to you, and they blamed it on you. I feel like this person feels you leaving them behind. So they could be doing things to uh, try to get your attention. They might be pretending like they like they doing so much better without you. But truth be told, 
truth be told, <laughs> truth be told, my life is not together as it seems. This person loves you. They just feel like you're leaving them behind. They feel it. They don't feel your energy. They don't feel your energy anymore. I feel like you pulled back from this person. They don't feel your energy anymore. So they're trying to pretend like they're becoming like this better person. They are doing a lot to try to get your attention. But they know, they know that you left them behind. They feel it. They, they, what they don't feel is your energy in, in their space anymore. This person is a damn narcissist. They got the golden mirror. This person is a narcissist. They are like, they love to be in one-sided relationships, okay? That's their problem. When you two were together, it was one-sided. Like, you were doing more and putting in more into the relationship while they just sit there like they the shit, okay? Like, they prince or queen, whatever. It could have been a lot of love bombing going on. I see a picture... I see a picture here, okay? We got a photograph. We got a photograph. I don't know if y'all can see it. Let me cut this light right here. I got a photograph here. Twin flame. Let's compliment each other. So I see a picture here. There's a picture here where it looks like somebody is, like, loving on each other, kissing on each other. It's like a lovey-dovey picture. And it looks like somebody's soulmate. But I feel like this is what you could have seen. This is what you could have saw that made you feel like I done seen all I need to see. Because of this photograph. This person is doing that because they want you to chase them. They want you to chase them. Mm -hmm. I told you this person this person spying on you sunglasses they're trying to hide and be sneaky about it but they've been watching you they've been stalking you <laughs> they've been looking watching everything that you post talk about uh, what they heard through the grapevine. They may be trying to see who it is that you're dealing with. They might be seeing, watching to see if you're a still attractive, who you're flirting with, who you're dating, who you're hooking up with. If there's a third party, who's the third party? Who's the other party? So they can sabotage it. So they can sabotage it. Maybe you've been keeping your business on the low. Maybe you ain't been putting all your business out who you're dating, who what you got going on, but they putting all their business out on Front Street. And I feel like you might have seen something and you're like, oh, mm -mm, that ain't even cute. That's real messy. How you moving? Like, it's just like, mm, yeah. Mm. 
there's this photograph here again. Yeah, there's a photograph. This photograph jumped right back out. And with I love you. So on the photograph, they could have said as a caption, I love you. Or, yeah, you my boo. Like insinuating that they love this person. Okay. And we got coffee cup. Meeting and conversing. Savoring the moment. Feeling uplifted friendship. Yup, see, they want to see who gonna run, who gonna talk about it, who gonna run off and talk about it. So this person is definitely doing things for attention. To see who gonna talk, see how, see if it get back to you. Yeah, this person fake as hell. This this photograph and them telling them that they love them. It's a mask. They're wearing a mask. Not showing their true feelings, hiding, personifying, pretending, deluding, and gaslighting. Yeah, see that I told you this person is a narcissist. Okay, they'll tell somebody anything to get what they want. This photograph is really is, is a mask. This person is masking their, their how they really truly feel. And see, somebody is mirroring, mirroring um, here. We got mirroring each other, self-image. See, this person is thinking about their image. Okay, they're thinking about their image. Relationship reflects our wounds, introspection. I feel like this person did that because they're looking at their image. They're trying to make their image look a certain way. But this person is a snake. It's really... This person is like being real clever, real malicious. This person that they posted with could have been, they put you in a third party with this person because we got the other woman here, which is the other woman or the other man, whatever it is. But this shit is fake. <laughs> fake. Fake, fake, fake. All right, so let's get the intention behind. It looks like a photograph. It looks like there was a picture that was taken. This person's intentions. What's their intention towards my collective? What's their intention towards my collective? Yeah, see, somebody was love bombing, like on the picture. They could have been all curled up, booed up like this. Mm -hmm. They could have been. Yeah, they got a bunch of likes. Mm hmm. Yeah, they could have been like, did this on Snapchat, took a picture on Snapchat so they could flex. <laughs> okay, so. I feel like this person has been following you uh, on social media. I'm see, I'm also hearing following the trend, following the trend, following the trend, following the trend. There's love bombing too, and you can jump right back out. And this is something that this person wants you to feel salty. Okay, they want you to feel some type of way. We got salty and love bomb, and they want you to feel some type of way about this picture, okay? Because they're putting it out there that they believe in the relationship. They got people rooting for the partnership, rooting for it high key, like out there in the public. Everyone knows about it, letting everybody know, setting the record straight. 
this person is definitely following some type of little simp ass trend. The trend is, yeah, post, post your girlfriend, post your man. Let's see who gets mad, type of thing. Let's see who says something, type of thing. But the thing about this person is, <laughs> the thing about this person is. On the low, low, on the low, low, low key. This person is uh, online dating. They're mingling with other people. So this could have also been a reason or played a part in why this person decided to like publicly put this on, uh, you know, put this out there. Is because they've been low key. They've been low key mingling. Okay. So they felt like, you know, I'm going to put that on hold for right now. You know, maybe the grass ain't greener. I'm going to put this, put this on hold right now, and I'm going to put my focus towards this. But to me, this, the intention still is to see who's salty about it, like to see who's mad about it. Somebody was getting bread from the goal is to give the least. The goal is to give this person that they're dealing with the least and then bounce. I can't make this shit up. They over here breadcrumbing this person. See, this person that they're dealing with must be think that getting posted or being shown off actually means something. It ain't nothing that's going to be long standing because real, real women know that that don't mean nothing. Real women know what really goes on, uh, what really matters is what's not shown on social media. What really going on in the household. What really going on in a relationship behind them closed doors. Is this person dining you? Is this person treating you uh, with respect? Obviously not because this person is online tendering. Okay, this good person could be on Tinder. On the low low. This person's goal is to breadcrumb this person and bounce. Look at this. They be on Instagram liking other people's pics. They be on Facebook liking and hearting other people's stuff. More than likely is IG. Looking at other people uh, that look good. They got good bodies and... You know, they take care of their physical, their out their outer. Um, they they be online doing the most. Online. Then I'm telling you, their goal is to do the least. Their goal is to do the least and bounce. So I feel like the best thing for you to do is to look at that and laugh because it's like the intentions behind it is all wrong anyway. And it look like this person just trying to make you and whoever else jealous, salty, want you to be jealous for attention. <laughs> what else? Spirit for the collector. I don't want you back. I want to do it up. Get drunk. Stay No love. Hot place. No love. You and me, no love. What else does Spirit need to know about this situation? Quick message, please. Three of swords. There could either be third parties involved or there's a breakup coming. Um, I feel like somebody had your person or the person that you was dealing with, they had to make they had to choose. That person told them that they need to choose. I feel like this person could be holding on 
to you and other people. This person is holding on to other people outside of their relationship. I don't know, relationship toxic anyway. It's toxic. It's right here, Ten of Cups and the Devil. This relationship toxic. Okay, it's toxic anyway. Okay, what else? Hermit, this person, I'll tell you, I in the future, it looks like this person is contemplating either bringing in another party or there could be a breakup. I feel like the person that they're dealing with wants this wants the connection to be different. The person that you were dealing with, the the guy or female, whatever it is in the situation, they could be uh thinking about their finances. They may be thinking that they can't um they can't give you what you need in a connection so they went elsewhere with somebody who doesn't require um too much of anything i told you just jump right back out the ten of cups and the devil could be a capricorn but i'm just getting like the relationship is toxic as hell anyway it's going to end. Yeah. So your the person that they were dealing with may have told them that if they don't fix what fix the problem, then they're going to break up. They could have told could have told them that if you don't tell the truth, then I'm leaving. Could be a Virgo involved. Yeah, the lovers. Could be a Gemini. There's a lot of insecurities, a lot of jealousy, a lot of competition involved in this situation. Um, third parties. Somebody needs to go love themselves. Okay? Um, somebody here may have low self esteem. They put too much into a man. They give a man too much. Um, they may be um, giving a lot of energy, time, money, putting a lot. It's a lot of stalking. This is a lot of stalking. See, somebody stalking somebody from their past, okay? Um, somebody got trust issues for sure, for sure, because they got cheated on before. They got cheated on in the past. There could be a Leo involved. Um, this Leo could be um, saying that she or he wants to wants a family man or a family woman. There's a risk. The risk is somebody uh, moving on. Okay. And I feel like this could be this person here that told the person that you used to deal with that we're going to break up if you don't fix this because you got me feeling some type of way. Yeah, this person has a lot of uncertainty. I feel like it's a lot of secrets and stuff being held back. Yeah, justice. They're saying that something's not fair. Um, they feel like they was getting a runaround. Like this person could have been giving them the runaround all the time. Asking for stuff. Yep. They're saying... Look, I'm going to make you tell truth. You're going to tell truth or we're going to break up. I want to see what the stalking energy is. Page of Swords and the Nine of Wands is definitely a stalker. So, okay, so somebody's stalking somebody's house. Somebody's stalking somebody's house.
the sun. Somebody is stalking somebody's house. Could be a Leo. Um, let's see what more information I'm trying to get. Yeah, the high priest. Somebody know where somebody stay at. Somebody know where somebody stay at. Somebody know where somebody stays. Somebody riding by somebody's house. It's I'm hearing ever since the truth got out about us messing around, they found out where I stay. They found out where I stay. So somebody's trying to somebody's trying to figure out or already knows where somebody lives. Somebody's saying, I seen that background before. I seen that background before. So somebody could have took a picture at where they stay, like or what around the area that they stay, and somebody's saying, I done seen that, I done seen that background before. I know where they stay at. I know where they at. I told you, ride and buy. Ride and buy with friends. Yep. Waiting. Waiting for somebody to come outside. And say something so they can. Oh, so somebody wants the truth to get out. Somebody wants somebody to tell the truth. And I'm hearing somebody saying, tried to tell you that I tried to tell you you was going to regret that decision. It ain't no one. Yeah, somebody wants the truth to be put out once and for all. That something is over. Could be a Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. And there's some regrets. This fire sign could be having some regrets. Regrets about getting back together. Somebody is enjoying the attention. Like, it's a lot of attention. Yeah, somebody think that somebody ain't going nowhere, too. Somebody also could be trying to force somebody's hand. Um... Somebody say, oh, somebody make enough money to change their life. And they're going to keep going along with it. Um, even though they feel like they should have waited because the situation real fucked up. Um, yeah, it's a lot of drama here. A lot of drama here. So let's close out with what this person um, wants to say to the collector. Let me take the lead. And also, I'm going to get help. I, I know what I need to do. So this person is saying, look, also, I need to have more fun. So this person is having a lot of fun. I've been getting that energy. Like, this person out here doing the entire most. Out here playing. Out here doing the entire most. Um, but they're saying, let them take the lead. And then I'm hearing, I'm going to get help. I know I need to. So this person know that they they their intentions aren't good in the situation at all. Um, and I feel like anytime that you let this person take the lead and let them 
you know, show that they can be or do the right thing, they always detour you. They always throw everything off track. So this person can't be trusted to lead anyway. They know they fucking up and they still doing the entire most. They listening to their guys. So they listening to other people anyway. I'm going to contact you. I need to speak to you. So they're going to end up reaching out to you. Wanting to talk. But they not. They not. No, their energy is not in the right space. At all. They're going to want to talk to you. And ask you to take things slowly. Can we take it slow? Basically that's what they're going to be insinuating. Like let's take it slow. I do listen to what you say and try to find a solution within myself. So they value your opinion. I told you they are going to contact you. But they feel like you're too good for them and they don't deserve you. They know they don't deserve you. They deserve exactly who they with and they're sorry for lying to you. But they just need to have more fun. This is something fun for them. Um, and they're going to ride it out to the wheels fall off. All right, y'all. That's the message that I got for y'all. And until next time, ciao for now.